this avalanche is fault. We're gonna have I tell you. Everyone, please. One at a time. still have a faint impression of the scent. Together we can find the beast. You want to track it from here on out? No, but Chocobo has led us this far after all. saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche, among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In 
In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won. The shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey. Pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? 
I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find him, we'll turn him on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask.
mushroom. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. We don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah.
he just the cutest? <laughs> Kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on! I supposed to do? Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine, and know things I've got no right knowing. Cloud, it's okay. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Is it you? You, or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That dare is our man. When fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Eric, is there anything I can do for you? I want to help. Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Promise not to tell? When she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her! And listen, tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as these monsters? Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah. I ask because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Come on! Uh. On me! Woo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Look! Look! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. A weapon? Tutelary creatures. Set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Who dares disturb my slumber? It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. I'm here at the scene of this terrible disaster, caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. The life stream. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, He's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Well now, think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Feast your eyes on the Turk's latest and greatest. Elena. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. They say she's a monster, that she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul, that she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. Free, you, yeah. You murdered my dad! You burned my village! Do you know that I killed her? So, who but the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. So focus on the future, not the past. He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. I saw you lying there. I figured it was too late. Wait. What are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? You were here with me. Five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to find you. Sorry. <laughs> 